In this video, we're going to look at how we can share a survey with a URL and actually pass through the language that we want to display. So this is going to be really beneficial when we have a survey that we've got set up and we've added additional languages to it. Now I've got some other videos I've done that talk about multilingual surveys and how you actually can add them by importing in a spreadsheet with all of the translations um, and also how you can take a survey and you can embed it into a website and set the language when you do that. Now, this is really, really easy in terms of how we can set the language when we share the URL. So if I go to customization and I click on languages, we can see here that I've got uh, three additional languages that have been set up in addition to the default one. If I now go to send and I want to send or share it with a link and I click on the link, we can see here that it actually gives us a shortened URL that we could use to share. If I go ahead and copy that and then I paste it into the browser, what we'll see is that it will go through and then give us the full URL at the top and it will display it either in the default language that's been set up or if the user viewing the survey has a specific language set in their browser settings and that um, language is one of the languages that we've translated the survey into, it will show that to them. So if my language settings were French, I would automatically see the French version of this. Now, what if I actually want to share the French version on social media, for example? Maybe I have a Twitter account and I share some content in French, some in Spanish, some in English or whatever, and I want to actually share that link so that people will automatically see in French rather than having to come here and actually change it. Now, what we can do, so if I just go back to the... Oh, go back to the default one. Now, what I can do is I can actually add in a parameter that sets the language automatically. So up here in the URL, if I go to the ASPX and then the question mark, and right after that, I'm going to put L-A-N-G for language, and I'm going to set equals. And I know that the code for French is FR lowercase hyphen FR uppercase. Then what I need to do is that next piece where it says ID equals, that's the ID of the survey. So I need to join that by using the ampersand. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Now the code of FR hyphen FR, um, remember we talked about this before in other videos. If you haven't seen them, then what will happen is when you set up the languages for your survey and you download an Excel file template that it gives you, we can see here that it's given us the codes for each language in all of the columns where we've done our translations. So that's how I know that French is lowercase fr hyphen uppercase fr. Right, so I've put that into my URL and I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. And we can see automatically it is showing us the French version. If I go ahead and I change this to DE for German, it's showing us the German version. Now, what I can do is because that is quite a long, somewhat ugly URL, and if I'm sharing that on social media, it's going to look a bit messy. And also it's going to use a lot of characters if I'm doing it for Twitter. There's a really cool free service that I found that I use a lot um, called Rebrandly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this URL. This is the German version. And I'm going to go into Rebrandly. You set up. I'm not going to walk through setup. It's really, really easy. But basically what you do is you can use your own domain and you can then create a somewhat customized um, uh, first part of the domain that you want to use. So for me, I use link.meganvwalker.com. I'm going to go ahead and just click add new link. I'm going to paste in the URL that I want to use and it will add or append a slash tag to the end of this URL. I am just going to go ahead and do events because that's what the survey is for hyphen DE or German or whatever I want to put. So maybe I put German at the end of it and then I go ahead and create that link. Then what I could do is I could do the same thing again. So I could do FR hyphen FR, go ahead and use that and do the same thing where I'm putting in a new link and this time I'm putting that one and instead I'm going to put events or event hyphen French and create that link. 
So now what I've got is two custom links that I can share instead of the long URL where I've put the parameter in. And if I then go ahead and I will just go ahead and copy that. And if I paste it in, we can see at the top, there's the link. And it will basically di direct and take me to that long URL for the customer voice survey with the language for German added in to the middle part as a parameter. So hopefully you find this useful, very, very simple, very straightforward. Um, again, the rebrandly thing, it's there are other tools available, but that is one that I like that I found that again is free. Um, and it just means that I can create that nice, pretty link where it's got my uh, website branding in the domain. Um, and it just looks a little bit nicer. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, do you think that you will use this functionality? Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.